Hi, I'm Jim Gordon. I'm Lita Leapens. And welcome to another edition of Our City Tonight. Well, folks, we're in the Coal Harbor region of Vancouver. Uh, one of our favorite spots, actually, down in this area with the mountains behind us and the mm. ocean right there at the Western Bay Shore. Very iconic hotel. It sure is. We have lots coming up on the show today. We're also going to come back to this recently renovated property and check out some of the great food mm. and cocktails. But let's get right into Our City Tonight. Here at the iconic Western Bay Shore, in uh, we'll do a couple things here today. We're going to start out with some great food here at H2 Rotisserie Bar and Grill. Cocktails coming up, but first to the food. Yes, and uh, we apparently have some signature dishes here. I am absolutely drooling at that. I know that that's one of your signature dishes. Uh, explain what we have in front of us over uh, there. So this is our whole chicken. Uh, it's with our house spice blend. And the best thing about our chicken is that it's local. It's Maple Hills Farm. Oh, so okay. no antibiotics, free range, uh, never frozen. And we don't brine it. It comes in fresh right from the farm. And we season it and get it in that rotisserie. And Jim is getting his <laughs> teeth into it and Well, you were asking questions, so I'm just <laughs> eating it. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. You know, that's one of the things that all the restaurants are doing these days, and, and people are people are asking for that, aren't they? Local. They want something local, and uh, they want to know that it's healthy, too. So you have the, more of a summer series here. Explain this one yeah, in front so of us. This is our summer signature salad. So we've got our Ocean Wise. We're a proud Ocean Wise partner. This is Ocean Wise albacore tuna that's seared. Oh, nice. And then this is actually a living watercress, so we keep it living right until we need to use it. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I saw you doing that in the kitchen, yeah. actually. Very cool. Um, and heirloom jam tomatoes we've got some avocado puree in there so it's kind of like a, a different take on say like something like poke where we make it into a salad and right. we make it fit our brand a little bit better mm, delicious Okay, last, we had to, of course, cover a dessert. What do we have here? This is our ode to Canada at the Westin, obviously, especially in summer. We get a lot of international guests, and uh, s'mores is, I think, uniquely Canadian and very typically Canadian. So we have a s'mores skillet, right. uh, which is actually torch table side. So we're going to play with a little fire here. Ooh. Stand back, Jim. Stand back. Mm. <laughs> and then lightly kind of get it. the table. Wow. That's kind of fun. It's sort of like uh, instead of having the baked Alaska catching on fire, you got the, <laughs> the marshmallows catching on fire. Well. And when it's someone's birthday, we let them torch it themselves. Oh, perfect. Well, Jim, you're eating it out of sink. You're supposed to put it with the graham crackers, but you know what? Oh. We'll let him make a mess. It's the best thing about snore or s'mores. You can oh. eat it the way you want. Oh, so. that's brilliant. Oh, it's delicious. And this is obviously very popular. Very, very <laughs> popular. Yes. Popular with Jim, too. Oh, exactly. And with chocolate all over my mouth. Um, just before we go briefly, um, how often are you looking at changing your menu? I mean, you can never get complacent. No, and we do, uh, because actually our menu in H2 is also served in our hotel rooms. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we do a summer and winter menu change. Nice. Fantastic. Excellent. Great patio here. Okay. We're uh, sampling some food, but we're going to head over in just a few seconds to the other part of our series today at H Tasting Lounge to try some wonderful cocktails. Thanks very much. Thank, Thank you, guys. Well, it's time for another Spirits Up segment with the uh, lovely and talented Krista Lee. And we're doing something different on today's episode. We're going to do a focus on the Donnelly Group pubs and restaurants. Now, if you're watching in the rest of the country, they're uh, a well-known group here in Vancouver, the Lower Mainland, with lots of different places all around the area. We're starting out at one of their places called the Library uh, Square Public House because, well, I guess the library's right next to it. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Jim, have you actually been in the library? <laughs> I have with wine. To read. <laughs> I don't know how to read <laughs> or write. Well, I'm... speaking about learning, uh, this is an amazing wine that you've made specially for the Donnelly Group. We're really excited. Uh, I've already had a little smell and yeah. it's amazing. Tell us a bit about this one. Yeah, so this is one that we specifically made for the Donnelly Group and it's called our Lake Bench White. And really, it's about being versatile and because they have creative menus across their chains and lots of different flavors that work well with food but also great on its own. So this is a mm. blend 
of Chardonnay, Semillon, Gewürztraminer, and a little Ortega. So you've got mm. the structure and richness of the Chardonnay mm. and the Semillon, but you've got the aromatics of the Gewürztraminer mm. and the Ortega, and just a hint of sweetness. This is so. a very good house wine. <laughs> wow, I yeah. Mean, honestly, Thank you. Again, really you good. sound surprised. No, no, no. <laughs> no but you know what? You we know try to make good wine. As I'm, <laughs> sure, as I'm sure viewers could attest, you can go to a lot of places and the house wine is just, it's lighter fluid, as I like average, to say. This is average, average, yeah. So you can find this in all the Donnelly, pla yes. Donnelly places, but mm -hmm. also we should say, because there's such a diverse group of bars and restaurants, this really goes with a lot. It can does. You, can yeah. you tell us just, just shortly um, about Ortega grapes? I sure. know it's, you don't hear a lot about no, them. No, there's not a lot of it growing, and you don't see it as a single varietal mm -hmm. a lot. It's used here for blending quite often because it's got some great aromatics to it. It's similar to a, a Moscato, so it's mm. got some aromatics. For me, in this, what it brings is the peachiness, a little mm, bit of the yeah. apple characteristic to it. So, yeah, you've got, you know, great nose, very it's fresh smelling. on the palate. Oh, kind of tastes like No wonder summer. it's uh, selling so well. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Perfect. Okay. Hey, uh, we're going to talk about another wine in just a few seconds. Absolutely. So, Krista Lee, um, we got a red for summer here. Uh, what do we have? Yes, yeah, so next I've brought our Evolved Cellars, Shiraz. Mm. And for me, this is uh, perfect for the summer. It's got some great fruit to it. You get some nice pepper characteristics, some plum, Ooh. some blackberry. Uh, mm. This has done really well for us. It won a gold medal at the BC Wine Awards. And I just love the versatility Ooh. of this. It's got some great fruit to it, but got some structure. So fantastic with burgers or ribs or mm. anything that's got a little pepperiness to it as well. Definitely taste the blackberry in there. Yeah, yes. mm -hmm. and, and we should say, uh, CL, that um, this is available. This is available at Donnelly Group at Donnelly as well. Group as well. Yeah, okay, yeah. good options. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, listen, I'll tell you what's coming up in a little bit. We're going to move from, I guess, the library or stadium district. I think I just put district Districts. names on everything. <laughs> We're going to go from there to a really cool area of Vancouver called Yale Town. That's coming up with Crystal Lee later in the show. Lovely uh, summer night here in Vancouver, specifically the False Creek region. If you're watching in the rest of the country, this is a stop you might want to come and check out. Of course, Science World right behind us, the water right behind us, mm -hmm. and uh, it is also uh, gala season here in Vancouver. And why don't we tell everybody what we're here to do tonight, Lee? Well, we're here at the Dragon Boat VC Legacy Gala, and that's in support of youth in sport, in particular, obviously, boating and dragon boats. Uh, this does actually um, mark the 30th year that we've had dragon boating in Vancouver. Vancouver. So it's kind of exciting. Um, today marks the countdown to 30 days before the big dragon boat races. Well, let's go check out the party and enjoy uh, this evening. Well, Anne, you're our resident dragon boat expert. Explain to folks, um, what is a dragon boat? A dragon boat is, uh, it's, um, Culturally, a Chinese longboat. It has 20 paddlers, a steers person or a skip, and a drummer. Great. And uh, so when was this introduced to Canada? It first came in 1986. We were the first Dragon Boat Festival outside of Asia. And then in 1999, we became a nonprofit society. So this is our 30th anniversary. Oh, wow. That's very exciting. But what makes it so special in sport? I think it's all about inclusivity. We have a saying in Dragon Boat that there's no one's, in a Dragon Boat, no one is left behind. There's always a seat for somebody in a Dragon Boat. And so people, if they're new or, uh, you know, maybe they're shy, um, maybe they, they just want to get involved in a team sport, then Dragon Boating is perfect because regardless of who you are, you can find a team to suit your needs. Perfect. And I know Dragon Boat is holding a great gala tonight to support youth in sport. Uh, this is just really exciting. Uh, uh, how would you encourage someone to start dragon boating? All you have to do is come down or phone us and we'll put you on a dragon boat team. We have uh, lessons that start off intro to dragon boating. We have join a team programs. You can join one of the 120 teams that are uh, in the region. Regardless, you don't have to come to Vancouver. You can go to Langley, Richmond, Burnaby, Surrey. They're everywhere. So there's always a dragon boat team nearby. That's excellent. <laughs> Well,
Well, running into more friends here at the Dragon Boat Gala. Of course, this guy is a friend of ours, but also we want to welcome you to our city tonight. You're one of our Thank new you. sponsors. Frederick, tell us a little bit about your company. Uh, well, we're a maple water company, so it's uh, what comes naturally out of the trees. And, oh, and, and, not, and we're missing out something uh, well, yeah, yeah. out of trees, can, right? Yeah, exactly. You can mix it with vodka. It's great. Well, no, we're actually we're making having. some great cocktails yeah. with this maple water, though. Uh, you know, maple water, coconut water, all these things. This is actually more hydrating. Yeah. And we've learned a little bit more as we're talking more to Frederick. But you are one of the major sponsors for um, the Dragon Boat, why we're here this evening. Correct. Uh, tell us why you decided to sponsor them. Uh, well, they, they, they uh, provide uh, lessons, free lessons, and lunches to underprivileged kids. Oh. Uh, um, uh, throughout the year, and I, I find that's a great cause. So, Good, and it's a sport, yeah. so it's a natural, exactly. uh, you know, mix together. Mix for, yeah. Yeah. yeah, awesome. And as we mentioned, you're going to be uh, spotlighted in our uh, show coming up in a new episode very soon, and you're also going to be talking to us about a health segment we're going to be continuing to do. We want to welcome you to our city tonight, and Can't wait. we want to thank you for these fabulous oh. ideas. I've only had it with just the water. I've never had it with anything else. <laughs> this is pretty nice. Just quickly, what Alita and I drinking? Well, this is uh, maple, wa uh, maple water and vodka with uh, a sprig of rosemary. And this is a Prosecco and vodka and a, a, a Machino cherry. Yes, and we should say Lita's got a gummy bear on top oh, of Oh, and a gummy so. bear, so yeah, it's from, uh, I forget what it's called, but sorry. <laughs> we will see you on our city tonight very soon. Thank, Thank you, brother. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. We're here at the uh, opening night party for this book launch with my two friends, uh, Janet Reynolds and Megan Edwards. Girl, it's not you, it's definitely him. Uh, I'm the guy here that gets to do this interview. It's so, him. <laughs> it's, I hear that quite often, actually. Okay, let's talk about a, uh, how you guys actually came together as friends, first of all, because that's an interesting, interesting story. It is. Well, I mean, uh, Janet and I were both trying to look for the, like, the love of our lives, so we decided to um, audition for First Dates Canada. Yeah. And so um, she and I were in the ch in the waiting room, and we were not in a change. <laughs> we were not in a change room. We were in a waiting room, and we <laughs> we just started talking together. And obviously, our dates did not work out, uh -huh. and so we became friends that way. Yeah. And Janet, can you talk about how the book came together? For sure. So actually, after we became friends, we started discussing how our how we'd been on these terrible dates, and Megan was like, well, I've actually thought about writing a book, and I said, well, my friends have always told me to write a blog or something, because they know all of my terrible dating stories. So um, Megan said, well, do you want to work on this together? I've kind of already started it. So I said, sure, and sure enough, Megan's got such drive that we followed through with it, through with it signed up with a self-publishing agency, pitched the idea to them, they loved it. Um, and that was a year ago I mean, now, and they really. <laughs> here it, it is. is a really good idea. Yeah, you and I were talking about this a year ago. That's we were. Right. Yeah. Uh, for viewers out there across the country that may not know of the Undateables, uh, you can of course find them online and everything like that. Can you give us, if you can, short, briefly, like a, a one of the best stories in the book? Because there are a lot. You say in your book, it, it'll make you pee. I did. <laughs> it, um, did you? Well, you I, tinkled a little it, bit. I don't have a bladder problem either. <laughs> so I just I peed. So because uh, I was laughing. So you got a, you got a, a couple of war stories you can throw out there from people you talked to. I think we like to always tell the story, which is the shortest story in the book. Literally, the girl came out to get into the car that the guy was in. She opened the door. He was butt naked. She shut the door and she turned around and walked back inside. Shortest story in the book. Shortest story in the book. Well, listen, there's a lot of longer stories in the book. We yes. wish you guys both luck and thanks for uh, letting us join you on your special night. Dad, yeah, thanks for having us. Guys, where can people find you and the book uh, if they're looking online in the rest of the country? If they want to buy yeah. it, yeah, they can go to amazon.ca okay. or amazon.com and chapters.indigo.ca. It's also available on Kindle. And you can follow us on Instagram at The Undateables. And you can message us and we can get you a book too. No problem. Wow. Maybe we'll God. sign it if you're really nice. <laughs> they won't sign it, I trust you. No, I'm kidding. Guys, thanks a lot. Good luck tonight. Thanks for Thank having you. Me. Well, from the Library Square downtown over to Granville Room, right downtown Vancouver on Granville Street. Very, very busy street. And there's a great spot here called the Granville Room. <laughs> it's yeah. part of the Donnelly Group's cocktail taverns. It is. Now, when we were in the uh, library square earlier in the show, we tried the house white. Yes. Now we're going to try the house red, and boy, you're selling lots of this. This is yeah. a really nice wine. Take it from here. Yeah, so this is an <laughs> exclusive wine that we've made for the Donnellan Group of restaurants, and this is our Lake Bench Red, and this is a 2014 vintage. It's primarily Merlot, a little bit of Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and a little Syrah. 
in there and just meant to be very approachable, easy drinking that you can have just a glass of it on its own, but pairs super well with all of their menu items. So any of the, you know, pizzas, the prime ribs, the sausages, which I don't know if you've had the sausages at any of the down oh, yes. but amazing, right? The bratwurst, the chorizo, works really well with it. So. Mm. And just to uh, anger Lita's father, this smells really good too. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mr. Levis. <laughs> um, was, I mean, because you're in so many different Donnelly pubs mm. and restaurants, and as we mentioned several times, very diverse. Yes. I mean, this really does seem to, like you're white, flow with a variety of different menus. Huh? Yeah, so that was our whole goal when we worked with them in creating the blend, is that we wanted it to be very approachable and easy drinking and versatile, so. Well, we have another wine to try, and mm -hmm. so we want to get right onto that. Absolutely, let's <laughs> try it. CL, um, in between giggles, if we can uh, tell us what our, <laughs> what well, our last well, wine is. Well, we just had a wine that was guzzable. Guzzable, yes, yes. yes. Now, like what's our last wine here at the Grand uh, So today we have our Time Chardonnay, and this is one that's kind of fun because a lot of people say, I don't like Chardonnay. And I was one of them. I, I was one of them. Were, and I now you like Chardonnay. Yes. Um, what I love about this one is I can generally convert them because this one is, when you, they say they don't like Chardonnay, Generally, what it is that they don't like is those overly oaked. Yes, that was me. like you're licking the bark of a tree. Yes, that was me. Uh, Chardonnay. So this is a third we fermented in stainless, a third in stainless barrels, and then we stir the leaves. And by doing that, what that gives it is a little richness, a little roundness to it, but no oak. And then a third in oak. So it's got a little bit of oak, but it's got a little more citrusy characteristics to it. So for me, one of the perfect pairings is a beautiful fish. I like halibut uh, or sable fish, something that's a little more heavier and dense and a little oily. Yeah. And the, the contrast that you have with this wine because it's really citrusy and crisp. So what gives it the tropical taste? That's the fruit itself. So okay. it's the clone that we use for Chardonnay. So we make the McWaters Collection Chardonnay, which is your rich buttery Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. And then we have this one. And the only difference is the clone of Chardonnay that we use. Hmm. Yeah. Very nice. That's really. I think the first time you had me try this as well, you you had me try it with a, a, a fish dish. I think I did. And that yeah. was what really drove me home. <laughs> now we should actually remind people once again that so you've got all the house wines for Donnelly. We do. Yes. And, and the names are white. Uh, so red. we make the Lake Bench Red and the Lake Bench White, which are the house wine in the Donnelly groups. Yeah. And we should also say if you're watching in Alberta, in Calgary specifically, mm. your wine is available at the games. It is. We're the official wine of the Calgary Flames, and so at the Saddle Dome and the concessions, the only wine you can get is our Time. Cabernet Merlot and Pinot Gris. Well done. Thank yeah. you. you guys in the Donnelly Group. Okay, if you're watching the rest of the country, you can find Donnelly pubs and restaurants all over the Vancouver area. Thanks to you. Thank you. Cheers. There's always great stuff going on in this great city of ours, Vancouver. We're on a Thursday afternoon, just over the bridge outside of downtown here at Fifth and Burrard. And Lita, why are we here? We are here for the exciting unveiling of Rolls-Royce new SUV called the Cullinan. Well, of course, the reveal has taken place, my goodness, with a gorgeous car. Ali, every time I'm around gorgeous cars, I seem to be interviewing you, which is, I'm not complaining. First of all, congratulations on this new vehicle. Can you talk about the Rolls brand, but also what this new vehicle, and who this new vehicle can reach? I think that's the, the best part about it. The, the Rolls-Royce brand, as you know, is a very aspirational brand, but the Cullinan is the first time it's an all-wheel drive vehicle. It's in its own chassis, completely new, completely redesigned, and anybody. I think that's the thing. It reaches out to anyone, and anyone that aspires to be in the Rolls-Royce brand, this is a great vehicle for families, for individuals, and anyone that wants to be a part of it. I have been around you a lot with cars. This is, I gotta say, nothing to the detriment of the other vehicles, but this is yeah. the most excited I've ever seen you. Yeah, you know, I was <laughs> in, in the, the 20 plus years I've been doing this, I've never been more excited about a vehicle. I think this brand uh, is the epitome and, and the, 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 the top of all brands, and I think this, this vehicle is uh, the most excited I've been for Rolls-Royce ever before. And here it's uh, rather appropriate that we're both drinking champagne, yes. and I understand there's a champagne fridge in the vehicle. Well, there's not only a champagne <laughs> fridge in the vehicle, but you can also bend it over, and it also becomes a storage for your scotch as well, too. Oh. So depending on your mood, everything, on the day, everything. it's all built right in. And yeah. we should say, our camera guy Dave and Davey are catching this, but we're actually sitting on lovely, comfortable seats. We, we are. I haven't sat on uh, flights that have been this comfortable. Well, you know, you can actually take this, back it up to a lake, we can go fishing, we can 
can have a picnic. I mean, there's there's many things we can do. Very nice. Congratulations again. Thank Always you so good much. to see you. Thank Thanks. You. Cheers. Well, Christian, it's an exciting day for you, exciting day for Open Road. Uh, well, you sell the most Rolls Royces in Canada. By far. Um, why is that? <laughs> well, we're not the largest city in Canada by any means, but certainly our owners here have a real penchant for this car, for this brand. Uh, they recognize that this brand is unique because it's about craftsmanship. It's not about just prestige or this exclusive brand. It's about craftsmanship and about quality. Is it true they won't sell Rolls Royces? to everybody <laughs> you know what uh, come talk to me uh, I think we can find a way to get you in one if you have that inclination perfect and so what what do you find the most special about this new SUV that's coming in the market what yes Rolls-Royce has always been known for quality sedans real wheel drive very luxurious and they have this magical carpet ride that they're known for but what our owners have been asking for particularly here in Canada and Vancouver is we need versatility and we need all-wheel drive capability well they have been begging us and now at the end of this year we'll be able to offer them Cullinan Well, one of the things we love about the Vancouver Aquarium, which you'll find in Stanley Park in the middle of downtown Vancouver, if you're watching in the rest of the country, is that you don't just come here to see the animals. No, they have all kinds of great initiatives and exhibitions, actually. And their current exhibition is called Vortex, done by the international artist Douglas Copeland. And we're really excited to share this with our audience because it's certainly thought-provoking. And it also affects the animals of the sea. Derek, here at the aquarium, they had to, well, you've got water everywhere, but they actually had to lug in 50,000 liters to do this particular exhibit. This is an exhibit by Douglas Copeland called Vortex. Tell us a little bit about what's happening behind us here. Well, Doug approached us a little more than a year ago with this radical vision. He wants to bring people on this journey to realize just what ocean plastics are doing to our world. Wow, and you know what, when you when you tour this exhibit, it really is, it, it just, it gets you. Uh, I, I'm encouraging everybody to come. It's a whole year exhibit. Mm -hmm. um, tell us the thing that hit you the most when he had assembled this and you actually finally saw the final result. Well, the name Vortex comes from the Pacific Trash Vortex, or Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Everyone's which, talking about that right now. It's huge, mm -hmm. and uh, when I say huge, I mean culturally, but also size-wise. Yeah. There's a recent study that suggests that it's about 16 times bigger than we've first thought, or Ugh. roughly the size of British Columbia and Alberta put together. Mostly from single-use plastic. That's a huge part of it, although other things like a discarded fishing gear, microplastics, and tsunami debris definitely all play their role. In and this will too. certainly turn people off from getting those single-use water bottles for sure because it's a lot that's floating behind us. And I understand that Douglas Copeland got all this from Haida Gwaii, and so this is nesting in our oceans that he took from. Definitely, and we really hope it will inspire people. You know, plastic is a part of our lives, it's a mm -hmm. part of society, but the stuff that's just used once, we've got to find ways to reduce that. Perfect. And there are little steps people can take, right? Well, definitely. Definitely. We're encouraging our guests to take the Plastic Wise Pledge and kind of stay on the journey that they start here in Vortex. Perfect. Well, congratulations to the aquarium and uh, to Douglas Copeland and all the initiatives that you do here at the aquarium. They are awesome. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> Well, here we are at H Tasting Lounge at the beautiful Weston Bay Shore. A fairly new place for you guys here at the Bay Shore. Pretty good, uh, pretty good party. We were here last November when the uh, the opening night happened. Okay, uh, with these cocktails, it's all retro. It's all uh, Howard Hughes. I'm about to sample something that I believe originated in the Savoy in London Correct. in the 30s. Yeah, absolutely. And what am I drinking here? So yeah, this is the Alaska 2.0. It's our twist on the original Alaska cocktail. Um, so what we're using in this one is Tanqueray 10, which has uh, sort of like nice citrus notes with some fresh cow mild that's really nice for springtime. Right. Uh, some uh, herbal liqueur by Luxardo called San Antonio, uh, a little bit of elderflower orange syrup, uh, lemon oil, and some orange bitters. Oh what my are the, gosh. What are the flakes on top here? Uh, gold flakes, gold to kind flakes. of reference wow. the Alaska Beautiful. gold rush, and then a large 
format sort of ice cube to. Well, that's uh, got a good kick. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the way they drank cocktails in the 1930s and 20s. Excellent. So oh, that's nice. what do we have here in front of me? So it's a also, beautiful color. <laughs> so this one's also inspired by Howard Hughes from the 1930s. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this drink is called Hell's Angels. It's uh, one of Howard Hughes movies that he produced. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a nice spring, summer cocktail. So we're using Bombay Star Gin. Um, we're using Aperol, uh, oh, kind of nice yeah. butter, grapefruit kind of notes. <laughs> Uh, some fresh uh, Savelle uh, orange and Meyer lemon uh, house made marmalade with a little bit of a vegan foamer on top and uh, hibiscus uh, airplane stencil. I love the top. airplane on there and uh, little birdie tells me this is uh, for ladies night. Yes, and that's uh, every Monday night. Monday night, <laughs> ladies night, here <laughs> in the H Tasting Lounge. Perfect. Well, I should definitely have a sip. I will be back here for ladies night. That is delicious. Awesome. Good job. So Dylan, all of these cocktails that we have tasted are your own creations. Now, do they go with the food that's here in front of us? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, with the uh, lotus wrapped arctic char, the uh, acidity and a little bit of the bitterness really helps kind of uh, cleanse the palate between each bite. And the herbaceousness in this uh, tequila shot uh, really works well with that style of tequila being used. Very, cool. Very nice. And we've been joined by a fourth person in our party tonight, Chef Alex, who put this food together. Uh, Chef, tell our viewers at home, like, what are we eating here? This one is an uh, artichoke. It's a local one. Um, artichoke, yeah. Okay. marinate it with the lime and wrap it in the lotus leaf and right. bake it in the salt. And the salt will be slowly infuse the flavor and then mm. season in the fish very well. Okay, well... As I'm known to do, I'll eat while you're talking. Yes, definitely. And yeah. so what do we try have it, in it. the mm. great little glasses there? Wow. Yeah, that one is very interesting. It's a uh, oyster salt. And we have the tequila and also halibut puff inside with lemon juice and pond juice. It's more like wow. Japanese and French style. So wow. the first one, if you see the rim, it's a lorry. Right. So you drink it and then eat the oyster. The second salt, eat the oyster and then drink it. Then you will see the difference. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Very the interesting. One, put the oyster inside and then drink it together. Oh, okay, oh, well, I guess oh. you need instructions, so you come to the table with every customer, right? <laughs> well, well. <laughs> Well, we're back here where we started the show at the iconic Weston Bay Shore, and we've already done a cocktail segment, but we have yet more cocktails. What are you having? I am having House of Fabergé. This is just glorious. This actually should be in a museum somewhere. <laughs> wow, and I'm having the Redemption Sour. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Cheers to you. Don't forget to follow us on social media at Our City Tonight on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm Jim Gordon. I'm Lita Leapin. And we'll see you on the next episode of Our City Tonight. Cheers. cheers. Sunny weather, cool shades. From Kingsley Eyewear. We're welcoming Roots Canada. We're really excited to be partnering with them. That's right, and we'll be checking out more about Roots coming up in a later episode.